following is a simple explanation of MRIs related to pituitary tumors. This is the side view of the nose. This is the sphenoid sinus. This is the normal pituitary gland. We can see the gland right there. It's about the normal size. And on this patient, here's the sphenoid sinus. There's a growth here that's fairly large. And on this patient, a much larger growth that is blocking actually the CSF from flowing, so the ventricle is much larger as compared to here. That's normal. This gets very large, and this causes a change in mentation. The patient was confused, disoriented. So we have to take this out. We were able to do it all through the nose, take that out, and uh, take care of the blockage. This patient is a good example of a microadenoma, where the patient has an ACTH tumor. So they have the symptoms of Cushing's disease, but they have this small growth here. It's not pushing on the eyes, it's not pushing on the artery, which is right there. So if this was a non-secreting tumor, we'd probably just watch the patient. But since this is a secreting tumor, it needs to be removed. And so sometimes uh, you know, we can do that through the nose.